President Joe Biden arrived in Wilmington, Delaware following a meeting at the White House with British Prime Minister Keir Starmer Friday. Biden brushed off a threat from Russian leader Vladimir Putin about war against the West if Ukraine's allies allow it to use weapons deeper inside Russia. It's a shift that Kiev has pleaded for, but no decision was immediately announced following a meeting Friday between Biden and Starmer. Ukraine wants to use some Western-provided weapons to strike deeper into Russia, and there are signs the White House might shift its policy in response. Two U.S. officials familiar with discussions said they believe Starmer was seeking Biden's approval to allow Ukraine to use British Storm Shadow missiles for expanded strikes in Russia. Biden's approval may be needed because Storm Shadow components are made in the U.S. The officials, who spoke on condition of anonymity to share the status of private conversations, said they believed Biden would be amenable. Starmer said talks would continue when global leaders convene for the annual UN General Assembly gathering this month. Russia on Friday accused six British diplomats of spying and said it decided to expel them, an announcement that comes as tensions between Moscow and the West grow during an intensified push by Ukraine to loosen restrictions on using weapons provided by the US and Britain to strike Russia. Russia's Federal Security Service said in an online statement Friday that a decision was made to withdraw their accreditations, and Russian state TV quoted an official from the security service known as the FSB as saying a decision was made to expel them. The UK said the expulsions took place last month. The move comes as Prime Minister Keir Starmer visits Washington for talks with President Joe Biden that will include Ukraine's request to use Western-supplied weapons against targets inside Russia. The FSB said it received documents indicating that the diplomats were sent to Russia by a division of the UK Foreign Office, whose main task is to inflict a strategic defeat on our country, and that they were involved in intelligence gathering and subversive activities. Based on these documents and, in response to numerous unfriendly steps by London, the Russian Foreign Ministry withdrew the accreditation of the diplomats, the FSB said, without identifying them. It warned that if other diplomats are found to be carrying out similar actions, the agency will demand early termination of their missions to Russia. Russian state TV said in a report that the six diplomats had met with independent media and rights groups that have been declared foreign agents, a label the Russian authorities have actively used against organizations and individuals critical of the Kremlin. Britain called the allegations against the diplomats completely baseless. It said the expulsions happened weeks ago, linking them to Britain's decision in May to revoke the credentials of an attaché at Moscow's London embassy and to impose a five-year time limit on all Russian diplomats in Britain. In May the UK expelled Russia's defence attaché in London, alleging he was an undeclared intelligence officer, and closed several Russian diplomatic properties in Britain that it said were being used for spying. About a week later, Russia reciprocated and expelled Britain's defense attaché. Наши медиа полностью разделяют оценку работы британских дипломатов, озвученную ФСБ. 
На Смоленской площади подтвердили, что посольство Соединенного Королевства в Москве давно нарушает международные конвенции. Вот сегодня стало известно, что шесть сотрудников миссии лишены аккредитации и будут высланы из страны. Доказательства подрывной деятельности неоспоримы. В кадрах последние часы сотрудника британских спецслужб Эндрю Даффа в России. Вместе со спутницей он спешно покидает Москву. Работавшего под прикрытием в английском посольстве шпиона вычислили и вместе с пятерыми такими же выгнали из страны. Лондон засылает нам разведчиков в качестве супругов-дипломатов для прикрытия шпионских акций. Используются малолетние дети. В общем, ни о каком дипломатическом этикете не может идти и речь.